Hi everybody, here's Christian from Teamwork Cast. And I'm Jackmate. And this is Netra and Timor Cast. These are the excellent, excellent German nationals. Uh, at, uh, I guess that was the 16th of August, is that true? Could be, yeah. I think that was the last day, so it's the 16th yes. of August. The last day was the 16th of August. This is the top eight. Um, the the best players from Germany facing off each other. One of the best players I have with me in my studio. Or he's playing on the <laughs> left. He's, he is playing as Ken Tenma. Even with the promo, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the way you 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 play at nationals. You just take the promo and build a deck around it. Yeah. Uh, so this is Kentenma, he will get a credit the first time each turn that he does a run. And he has 17 influence, not to, not to forget. Uh, 17 influence, a uh, run yeah. event, not a run, a run event you have to use, yeah. right? Yeah, you have to play and a run event, then you get one credit for the first one, first time you do it. Yeah, all right, and on the right we have uh, Mütras, which we already saw in the first game from the top eight, uh, and he will be playing uh, the HB. Uh, we saw Mütras already a couple of times on our on our videos here, so it was really exciting to see him go that far in the mm -hmm. German Nationals and doing so well, so incredibly well. Yeah, that's true, and yeah, it's like a really hard matchup for me, I think. Already, <laughs> I want. I wanted to say, yeah, yeah. Like, um, generally, the the matchup of criminals versus HB is not the best one for the criminals because HB can be so incredibly taxing. Yeah, I think that's a new thing because a architect uh, changed a lot in this. Because earlier it wasn't that problematic to fa face check into IHB's eyes because mm. you can always click for the bad subroutines, but architect, yeah did something about that <laughs> so that's that's a problem for our criminals I think because the one thing that they can do against uh, uh, HB is uh, is being uh, aggressive and that's yes. yeah, it's hard uh, right now so you have to install a mimic and if you install a mimic then you have a program and then if, a pro if you have a program then um, you can trash something each, yeah. Yeah. On the other hand, I mean, I personally, I feel like the things that I don't want to see in HB the most as a criminal is um, stuff like... Um, um, <laughs> what? What? What, what happened? He, he, he uh, um, pushed the cards from his deck uh, on the table oh, accidentally. All right. <laughs> accidentally. All right. Yeah, but it's uh, not, so nothing so happened. So the thing I don't want to see is um, um, Next Ice and Ichis. These are both uh, incredibly taxing to me. Yeah, next eyes is not that. It, it, it's problematic for typical criminals, but that uh, you're not a typical criminal. Yeah, I'm not a typical criminal. I can deal with next eyes pretty well, I think. But mm -hmm. itchy is more problematic, and let's let's see what will happen. Let's see about that. Yeah, players are preparing. I think we are about to begin, right? Yeah, don't know what we are waiting for. I'm not not sure myself. I probably should have edited this video a little better. <laughs> this time, my click trackers are not on the eyes. A little bit uh, above. <laughs> Perhaps uh, I'll move them down again. Uh, let's see. Uh, the the turn starts. Draws the card and installs an ice in front of HQ and it's in front of R and D. Pretty standard. For yeah. listeners who don't recognize the alt art that, that uh, Mithras is using, it's the standard uh, core set HB, so he gets a credit the first time he installs a card each yeah. So we both get a credit the first time we do something, <laughs> but mm -hmm. my, uh, Kentema gets, gets one credit the first time he do, does something like playing a run event. <laughs> so That's really great. <laughs> Dirty Roundy on Arcus, I s assume? Yeah, I think my first click was draw a card, then second click Desperado, third click... Then um, you get to see the um, the uh, Eve campaign in a scoring server here, but that's not really good. You're not trashing it. You're waiting for him to res it. Yeah, and I don't I don't think that's a that's a mistake because I have only eight money, and mm. if I have so less money, if, if I trash it, for example, yeah, then it will go down with your money. I won't be able to do anything. But on the other hand, of course, the Eve campaign is like really good protection for him against account siphon because he can res it when you do account siphon. Yeah, that's true. But I'm far away from account siphon right now. Yeah, you, uh, so that, that kind of communicates um, for him is that you don't want to be account siphoning anytime soon. Yeah, but I'm installing a ferry after drawing a card and then running on HQ to mm -hmm. just check the eyes or see some cards in HQ. And, and you see click. another Eve campaign. Ugh. Well, last click on on the. Man, you're you're playing fast. Yeah. That is an Eli there, and that is a, a, that's what I said before. Like this is now running on R&D is going to be very very expensive. Hopefully we can some, somehow do something about this Eli. Yeah. 
But I think I'm doing the right the right thing, being aggressive against HP, because I have to keep him off money if I want to yeah. uh, stay in the game. And having the fairy is a pretty good um, start. Oh, and oh. they're playing Maker's Eye on the first click, clicking through on the on the second click and clicking through uh, Eli. Eli. Getting uh, two credits for for this whole thing. So uh, basically, the Maker's Eye is paid for through the Desperado and through your ability, uh, and this is, gets rewarded by a measly uh, one Chronos project. But I guess just three more agendas to go. And I trashed two Adonis campaigns. And I, oh wow! In, in retrospect, I don't know if that was right. But well, I mean, he's full of campaigns. We already saw yeah. two Eve campaigns and then two more Adonis campaigns. He just yeah. that's like only two campaigns left in his entire deck, probably. Yeah. Perhaps I should have left them there, because now I'm on three credits, and, mm. and that's the point where I don't want to be. It's like yeah. too low on money. Because now he has like the scoring windows, now he can uh, install some kind of taxing ice and then start scoring things away. He does yep. install something in the server, not protected with an ice yet, maybe that will come now. Nope. Yeah. Uh, you saw the so EVE campaign, many. so you maybe really may be thinking, okay, but probably it's another EVE campaign. Yeah. I look looking at it there anyway because get I get a credit, credit for it. Yeah. yeah, that's the cool thing about Desperado and in and, and Criminal that you can mm. like check everything and it's not a waste of time. You always yeah. get something from it. That's really nice. That's very very useful, especially with those no uh, no advance kind of decks where they just install things and don't advance them at first and then suddenly boop, it's an agenda. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes they, sometimes they do that, but I didn't expect that. I, no I, no no. Sometimes Obviously it's not. something I, I can trash uh, on the cheap, and if, if it's that, then I will do that. But an Eve campaign is like too, too much. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> just true. too much. Oh, uh, I, I misspoke. It was never advanced, of course, is a, ter is a term for this. Yeah, and I'm running on HQ again, and he's still mm -hmm. not reading the, the eyes. Mm -hmm. Interesting oh. that he doesn't read the eyes. Does that communicate to you that he doesn't have any agendas on hand? He just doesn't care? No, I think he just don't want. Uh, he's not prepared for. Uh, um, account siphon mm. uh, now so he doesn't want to and perhaps he has no agendas on hand it could be both mm -hmm. so now he oh. you run again and now he uh, says like or oh, okay interesting uh, this is uh, this is over this is this went way too far it's interesting that he enigma. that he rests the enigma on the last click because if he rests it on the third click then i wouldn't be able to run th uh, the last click and i wouldn't have, to have got gotten the access and wouldn't have gotten the credit so that's, I don't know. that's odd indeed yeah yeah all right so, so he gets some some credits from the Eve campaign he's using those uh, rare special edition uh, team covenant metal tokens yeah I find those a little bit strange I think it's, uh, especially on the match like they're yeah. like kind of disappearing on it <laughs> because it's gray as well not quite as visible oh. but on the other hand they do make a lovely noise oh and there's an here, indexing here yeah here I'm doing a uh, crucial mistake I, I, I thought I could like run again <laughs> after clicking oh. through Eli, and then, then oh. I, I'm, I'm recognizing, oh shit, yeah. Oh no, that's not no, how it that's works. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> that's absolutely yeah. not how it works. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so now you kind of have to arrange the indexing. You have to. You see the top five cards from R and D, yep. and you can arrange them in any order you like. You I already saw you put like the Jackson to the way to the back, which makes sense because throwing the Jackson will destroy the order of those cards. Yeah. Uh, and I think on the top is then something like a Sansen or something. I'm not sure. Uh, so definitely the top card is not going to be an agenda now because you know, no, no. You know that that you can get can't get it now. I think I put a beta test third from the top and an, mm -hmm. an APD uh, on the fifth or, or fourth. Mm -hmm. I don't know something like that. So that um, oh oh and, oh and he gets a Jackson with this oh very nice counter here, uh, really yeah. exploiting that that mistake of yours. Yeah, and now he doesn't even have to use the the Jackson right away because if I run on R and D he can make me spend money or clicks <laughs> and then shuffle because then he knows that I put an agenda there mm. if he wants to. Yeah. That's really that, bad. The indexing was like not a good play. <laughs> not a good play. Mm, very, very, very problematic, especially so early on. Could have uh, made such a huge impact. I mean, perhaps you had like an inside job on, on hand and you, you can never tell, never know. No, I hadn't. I, I, just, didn't have. I just thought that I could click through Eli and then run again. I don't know. Why I thought that's like um, a punted. Just this is the one uh, uh, one thing I missed there. <laughs> Cantana's brain fart. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, it's it's a it's a clone. They have like a limited lifespan, and uh, once you reach the lifespan, you deteriorate physically. 
Mm. Yeah, it's perhaps something like this. Oh. All right, so that is a prepaid voice better to install here. That's really great because then you will get your events for free and then you will even get money for all of this. Yeah. And then your special order for, I think you're going to see a Corona, right? No. Nope. It's passport because I need to break the, um, um, yeah, how was it called? Enigma. Uh, Enigma, to, yes. To get into HQ. That that makes uh, that gives Mithras, I guess, the the signal that you will be want uh, wanting to get on HQ in the future. Yeah, and now he, I know he has one uh, Eve campaign, uh -huh. and he could rest the card in, uh, the the ice in front of HQ. But and he has a lot of he has a lot of money, so even if he rests the Eve camp, yeah. if if he has the Eve campaign, that won't actually stop the account siphon from happening. Yeah, but he can rest the ice, and if it's expensive enough. Then mm -hmm. perhaps the money is gone by then. That's that's that could very well be. But then you basically achieved your goal anyway. You just won't get money off this, and you're really low on money right now. Yeah, I have two credits. Hmm. I, I always see like the biotech labor on his hand, so that's basically something that he can do. Just biotech labor out something whenever he wants, and then with Jackson out, uh, like an accelerated beta test is something that is possible. Yeah. He has the money for it too. Oh, I draw a card. Ah. It's a plant assault. Plant assault, and you have the, of, uh, the account siphon on hand. Uh, one of my favorite cards. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm I'm uh, pondering whether I should uh, play account siphon right. Uh, I don't know in this turn or next turn, mm. because even if I think if if it's a toll booth, that's like the worst case scenario. Or if it's a barrier, that could be worse. But barrier will be really bad right now. Yeah. yeah. But then I think they're not that much. I, I think if if he's playing next dice, then it could be could be next silver. I think that would be keep mm. me out. But like um, Eli, I could click through if I do it. Yeah. Like on the first. Uh, or second I click. I actually look at his deck. I know for a fact that the only barriers that he has is an Eli. <laughs> and uh, there is also a um, wall of static. Ah, okay, wall of static could keep me out as well. Yeah. A single wall of static. Oh, I'm running on R&D mm -hmm. to make him uh, use the Jackson. Mm -hmm. So that's great. I'm, I think, like for especially for RGB, like a, a Jackson that is lying around, something that you never should allow. Uh, simply because um, accelerated beta test is so much an easier choice to trigger when there is a Jackson there mm. to rescue the agendas. Uh, exactly. You know. That's what I'm thinking. I know he has biotic labor on hand, and if he mm -hmm. draws the bio the the, the, the uh, accelerated beta test next turn, then he can score it right away and use it. And I d don't mm. want that to happen. So absolutely, absolutely good idea here. Ooh, and then I'm running on on HQ. Oh, and that is an Ichi 1.0 uh, using the fairy to break that Ichi, using the passport to break the Enigma, getting in one access, and that is going to be biotic labor, so urgs, not yeah, good. Not good, because I, I thought I, if I if I know what ice uh, is uh, in front of HQ, I could perhaps um, account siphon afterwards, yeah. because yeah. then I know. Oh, and he has Ooh. Sansa. Oh, that's bad. I'm one that's credit, and he has a really rest bad. Sansa. Um, but also he doesn't he... use. He isn't using the beta test. That's at least one good thing, I think. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he's also exactly five credits, so he can. I guess he rest can rest the Eve campaign, right? Can he? He can. Oh, yes. He can. Mm -hmm. He can. So account siphon will not work, even yeah. if I click through Ichi like from from the beginning yeah. on, and then. He just rather the uh, the Eve campaign and I get nothing. Yeah, so this is really really bad. But the good thing that you sniped the Jackson because he will probably trigger the Eve camp uh, the accelerated beta test. Uh, yeah. Uh, drawing more cards. Let's see. Maybe we have some answers here. Yeah, I need some money. That's 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 the most important thing. I ah, think that's knifed. Knifed. And getting on R and D for free, like because I use the credit from the voice pad and get a credit for my ID and one credit from Desperado. Stabbing that little Eli there, right in the back. At least making some space in front of R&D. Mm -hmm. Clones versus Bioroids. Uh, so Mithras takes takes a break from scoring. Perhaps he doesn't mm -hmm. have any agendas in hand. Do oh, he thinks oh. about something, installing something over the uh, Sansan, but he decides to install it in a remote server after all. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, hmm. so you're still very low money, three credits. That account siphon needs to happen at some point, but of course this is very difficult now. 
and the Sansan is still on the table. That's also mm. problematic. So yeah, Sansan, the Sansan needs to go seriously. Every agenda he draws, he can score right right away. And your He's rig is just not up to speed. I mean, uh, even something like a code gate on a remote server will stop you. Yeah. I think that goes all back to trashing those uh, Adonis campaigns on R&D. I shouldn't have done mm. that, really. And there, there is still another Adonis campaign, so uh, I think everything I, for us for nothing. I hope, I hope I recognize my mistake and I will not trash this one, because it won't help me. <laughs> uh, difficult. Oh, oh you do it trash it! I'm doing, oh. doing it again. No. Contentment. Oh, okay, now that he's trash, you try the account siphon. No, no, that, that was another mistake because I didn't, I didn't uh, actually recognize that he could spend the money for the trays um, mm. to um, to just get rid of money to so prevent you just the click, account siphon. Click the program trace subroutines. Yeah. Let the um, um, trace subroutine fire. Yeah. He pumps some money in the in the in that subroutine. Yeah. So you get a tag and a brain damage. And uh, the oh man oh, oh and even sniping the oh this is the, the worst up. bad luck bad luck Tenma <laughs> oh, uh, and then the run <laughs> continues Tenma, yeah. <laughs> and then he res for the rest of the credits he res the Eve campaign so that all that account siphon was for naught oh no it's kind of okay because he has no yeah. money so he can't score next turn or he can't he can score because he has two money from, from yeah that's the worst that's the worst oh yeah. But uh, he maybe won't be able to rest things on R&D, so he can do an R&D rock. R&D rock, R&D lock. <laughs> just just uh, thinking about things that we can still do, <laughs> or that, that I can still do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and sign something on the sand sand, uh, but money. not doing nothing else. I'm thinking maybe NAPD, I don't know what you yep. think. Yeah, NAPD could be very, uh, very likely be the card that he installed there. Hmm. Yeah, big hole right now. I think I need Can't money. Have... I need breakers. I need some reliable uh, stuff. <laughs> and I have dire, dire situation for Kentema. He needs yeah. to really some. Uh, he needs to change. Uh, think about his life. Change his entire lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, Drawing cards. Maybe there are some answers there. Yeah. Yeah. And I think. I, I recall that I have a planned assault in hand, and I always think about getting the run event that destroys um, sentries for HQ. Mm. But that doesn't work because uh, either I need a, a ferry to break oh, it, yeah. mm. or I need yeah an additional click because I have two yeah. clicks for a planned assault and then two clicks left, and that's not enough for Ichi. Uh, Ichi, Ichi again, being a pain in the ass. And even even trashing the Eve campaign, I st oh. I'm still I'm still trying to uh, uh, deny his money. Yeah, so, oh. but he also denied you the money, so you don't have zero yeah. zero monies yet yeah. now. And a brain damage and a tag, no resources, so that's not bad. Oh, and he scores. Interesting. So he fast adv No, he fa oh he that was a no um, never advanced score here, right? No, no, he advanced from hand. I think it's another upgrade oh. on the sand sand. Okay, so it was by the clever. No, no, he just, uh, that's a pet project, it's a 1-3 again, agenda. He put it down on, on the Sansa and then advance it twice. Oh, so, because there's still something on the Sansa. Yeah, it's, it's, it's another upgrade. Oh, okay. I think... Oh, so, oh, I see. Okay, so there's another upgrade now. Okay, that's so put it on Sansa. Yeah, that's a tell after, after what's after he scored, it could, couldn't be an asset because uh, it would have been trashed then. Yeah, that's true. So he uh, advances with Sansa and a pet project. He c can create a new server. He just just did, but with just two cards. Ooh, and I, I have finally have a security testing, but right now it's not that good because there's no open server. Not anymore. Uh, and now there's yet another the the tra the sexy bots that you just trash come back in full force. And of course, they are even protected with ice. Yeah. Let's see how much money did I spend to trash campaigns? I think I. Spent six for Adonis campaigns and another three for Jackson and another five for an Eve campaign. I think I would have would have been the richest man in the world if I didn't do that. And uh, he even uh, uses because you have still have attack. He uses two credits to trash the, yeah. the secure testing just to twist the knife there a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, that's okay for me as, uh, um, because I I need um, 
I, 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 I wouldn't be able to get that money that reliable right now. So mm. that was, a, was a, the, the thinking behind it that he oh. would. What? Are you running on that on that on that Adonis campaign? Yeah, and I'm, stick I'm sticking to the plan. <laughs> stick to the plan. Yeah, Terry Telly Perros dogma. Yeah, perhaps in that game that wasn't that good, but sometimes it's even it's actually worth it because I need to yeah. get rid of these if I want to. Yeah, get the As economic. Um, oh, and have a sh have a sure gamble. So now Ooh, I'm actually. Fine. Everything is coming up Tenma. <laughs> I think I, I I ran on the on the um, Adonis campaign. The thinking was that if he Oof. reses the eyes, that's not that bad. And but here another accelerated score. So now he's at match point. Yeah. Can Tenma still just at one point? Ugh. And that Sansan really needs to go. No. Yeah. And he's still biotic labor in hand. So he does. Uh, even after oh. after I. I Kill the sense and I, I destroy the sense and he has still uh, biotic labor to fast advance and agenda. So, so I'm thinking R and D lock. Yeah, yeah, R and D lock is pr probably the best the best chance. But I'm 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 really afraid uh, of an architect in front of R and D because mm. that was me would mess up. Yeah. Yeah, it would would really change a lot. And of course, you don't have the century breaker. So you ran on a sexy bot, trash a sexy bot. Mm -hmm. At least uh, prolonging, maybe because you know, if you if he does the um, ex uh, biotic labor play, he does need a bit of money for that. Yeah. At least five credits, no six credits. Another problem with the R&D log is that I don't have a reliable multi access for R&D. I don't have R&D interfaces or medium. Oh man, yeah, so, so I many only things see you one need. Card, and if he draws like, oh, that's the architect. Oh no, worst case There's scenario. The Oh no! So well, all the sexy bots that are trashed uh, come back. But at least I get get the access afterwards. <laughs> that's that's something. At least, <laughs> but at least you might be able to trash the Sensor City Grid if that's not an Ash. Yeah, if it's, if it's an Ash, that's yeah. Oh, it won't be an Ash because he is down to one credit. Wait yeah. a minute! Through, wait a minute! Through the install, he gets a credit. Yeah, probably. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. He's thinking a lot about this. There is another architect on on this discard pile. And I think there's a project with Truvius in 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 the five cards, top five cards from R and D. So, all right. So he installs the server. He installs something from top of R and D. I think he installs something from archives and from oh. R and D. Oh no! I mean the architect was on top of R and D. Yeah. Um. All right. So we now. Oh, oh cyberdex. it's just the cyberdex. <laughs> Oof! That was good. Trashing the sands and cybertech does nothing against you, does it? No, I don't have any viruses in my deck. And no clots or anything. All right, that's a daily business show that will help him to get the final agenda to get out of our need rock. You have to do some really amazing stuff in order to prevent him from uh, yeah. getting the win now. And last week I run on R&D to just check that I'm not that I'm not uh, losing, <laughs> like. In the next turns, so that the, yeah. the, the 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 important thing is that if he uh, at one time draws an agenda, um, then the agenda is in hand, and I have to find it there, and that's like quite quite difficult. And so so you trash the sand, and so this, the fast advance uh, play is no longer possible, and he de he is low on money, so he cannot even yep. biotic labor. So that's really great, but then he installs something in that uh, Arctic server that you can't yeah. run through again. Ah, so much problems. <laughs> 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 so many things, and, and and of course, if I like spend an inside job or something like that, and then it's just in a c campaign, I think I, I will think like, wow, yeah, it's like so the worst thing in the uh, in the world. Yeah. When in doubt, go to HQ. You are yeah. the HQ access master, so yeah, you have to play a legwork here. My thinking is that I want to um, uh, first make sure that he uh, hasn't an agenda in hand that I like missed. Yeah, because he's been drawing from R&D for a long yep. time now. And I didn't see all the cards. And there's four cards in hand, so now... Oh, two and biotic labors here. And a yeah. Turing that he didn't even install here. That Turing would also cause a lot of trouble so to you. Yeah. So, yes. Bit of a trouble. Yeah. Kentenma, keep fighting! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I think um, it's his turn again. And... Mm -hmm. 
Ja. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, will be the score. And it will be the it will be this score. He and draws. this this turn I didn't didn't check R and D, so that was uh, um, the the agenda. Then yeah, oh. that would would be bad. Uh, hedge fund. Yep. And two credits. credits. Yeah. yeah, two credits. In fact. So so he's preparing to he's getting up his money so he can fast advance the final agenda once he draws into it. At least it seems like the card in the in the server in the architect server wasn't the the winning agenda. Yeah, so because he would have uh, absolutely scored it, uh, he, he, could, he could have even advanced like an NPD. So so that's not mm. an agenda. So maybe uh, R&D lock is still possible. The dream of the R&D lock. Yeah, but I see the Vitruvius in hand. <laughs> I think it was actually the top card of R&D. So he couldn't fast advance it because he didn't have, have enough money, I guess. Y yep, yep, yep. He I had like. Five money at the beginning of the turn, and with the install, that's six, and that's one, mm -hmm. one too little. Turn to little. Got laundry on the uh, outer card, which was yeah, yeah. Uh, was just still the daily business show, mm -hmm. which he didn't yeah. use. And I, I'm thinking like uh, I don't know that he, that he has the agenda in hand, but I think if he keeps um, if he keeps the, the daily business show, then. At some point, he will find the agenda, and yeah. and you end your turn, and then he fast advances out to the the trophies that you that he just drew a turn before. Ah oh, man, such a sad game. Ah. Such a sad game. I'm sad. I'm sad to see, like because you went got way up here. You defeated so many opponents with with your Kentama deck, yeah. but then uh, in, a, in a top cup. It's something, it's something you can learn. I, I didn't play against that much HP and I think it would have been much better to give him the money and to keep my money. And if, if he has money, that's that's good for me because I can play account siphons and then make my multi-access runs and trash mm. his, his stuff and, and install my breakers and trash his eyes. So perhaps that was a crucial mistake that I trashed so much stuff from him. And, and of uh, course there was this indexing that we talked about that was yeah. also a, a bit ill-conceived. Yep. Uh, so there were definitely play mistakes that could have been ironed out uh, to give you a bit of a better chance. On the other hand, I mean, we talked about this is a bad matchup for, for criminals in general. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Kentama deck can uh, can win against HP, but I oh definitely I was can, like can do I way was better. like yeah. I was like um, also tired, and I think I was mm. like on, in the mood of oh, yeah. Let's get let's, let's get it over with. Let's it. Yeah. get it over with. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like I was. I wasn't like I, I d didn't want to play anymore. That that's not yeah. uh, what it, uh, the case. But um, yeah, well, I wasn't that focused anymore. <laughs> that's true. Say. Yeah, that's, that's that's the right way. Never take responsibility. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and so uh, you go away into the loser's bracket, yep. but I can tease our listeners that uh, you will return, the Jackmate will return eventually in the future. So we're going to leave you and we're going to be back next time around with some other matches. We're going to continue with the lower bracket this time around. So I hope you will join us next time when we hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and get in the car! Shit on me. This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hack the planet.